Hello everyone, haha, <laughs> and welcome back to Chapter Master. Yes, I know I haven't played this in quite a while, I will admit. And I, the reason for that is I, nothing against the game, I just got a bit bored. I mean, there's so much you can do in there, in a game like Chapter Master before you kind of want to do something different. And that's how I got, like. But, anyway, uh, yes, Chapter Master, really, really good game. Um, and I'm going to get back into it. And as per I promised last time I played this, I'm continuing with my playthrough of each of the Maelstorm Waters. So, with that being in mind, we are playing as the Executioners. The fourth chapter that showed up to support the Secessionists during the Badab War. And an interesting, interesting sort of... I don't know, study of them? I personally don't like them, because I think that they're a bit of a... They're a bit of assholes, and they got off way too easily for what they did during Badab. But, you know, ours is not the reason why. Uh, Defense Fleet Scoundrel Barracuda. Imperial Navy. Imperial Fleet. Uh, what's over here? Tyranids. Tyranids. Alright. Uh, we'll just try and reorganize our fleets. And go from here. Alright, what have we got? Tyranids, population zero. We will bombard with the only ship we have on hand. Wow. Only one ship didn't do anything. We're going to need a bigger nut to crack than this, it appears. Alright, executioners. Alright, we're getting some more ships in. We've got one thing. We've got one sh fleet here. I want to try and make two fleets. Just to go with the rest of my... Rest of this playthrough. Two fleets. Ah, executioners. Thank you. We're going to have one fleet meet up here. And the rest of the fleet will try and meet up somewhere central. Uh, where's the... Wow, there's a lot of ships. Okay. Just getting organized again. Don't worry, the executioners will be back to destroy the enemies of the Emperor. What have we got? Executioners? What's over here? Completely clear. Over here, nothing. Nothing. Alright, executioners. Two. Alright. It's always hard in this game, I find, to juggle between fleets. That's why I like to keep my fleets um, centralized. Okay, well, what do I have on hand? I have a, one company of marines and it's very high. I'm just going to keep bombarding them. Okay, I'm just going to keep them pinned into place. Oh, good, Stygia. Oh, they didn't say both my names. Uh, the <laughs> In a quite funny little just position, the Executioner's Homeworld are actually a lava world it's called Stygia and an ice planet called uh, Aquilia. So it's quite cool, you know, they have a fire and ice motif going on, which I quite like. What is this? Ooh, execution it. Um, you will return to the home world. And what are you? You're more executioners? Damn it, I'm trying. Ooh, Adipus Sororities. Alright, two, two ships there. Ooh! Hello, Sisters of Battle. Right, seven turns. Now, we need to find the rest of the fleet. Executioners, Executioners. Ah, Executioners will make up here. We've got Defense Fleets. Okay, the Imperial Guard are going quite well. Uh, must admit, the execution is a kind of interesting chapter. Successes of Rogel Dill, Dawn, the third founding, which is they've got a bit of a prestige to them. Very much embraced in the close combat butcher sort of way. And really, I like the fact, their story about how they went to Badab. Uh, they actually, they went to the Badab War. Okay, good. We are slowly blowing them up. Uh, they went on to Badab War and supported the secessionists because of a a thousand year old debt they had where the oh good nice and turnids and you guys can bombard them very nice where the executioners 
um, homeworld was under attack, and the astral claws. Damn, the astral claws uh, lost a lot of men, including their current chapter master at the time, to save their homeworld. So ever since then, the executioners had a blood debt to the astral claws. So when the Badab War happened, the executioners were on a bound by their standards, on a bound to um, fight alongside the, sec the secessionists even though they personally didn't approve of what they were doing, which I think is quite a nice touch. And then they immediately show up, wipe out the... Ooh, didn't even know I had a ship here. This ship is going to be really stuck out on its own. I'm going to recall it back. But they were... They wiped out the Howling Griffins, basically destroyed most of their chapter. Uh, what else did the executioners do? Wiped out... Uh, most of the salamanders in the area caused massive damage to loyalist Astartes, killed hundreds upon hundreds of Astartes with no mercy, just cutting them down. And they do all this shit, and then at the last second they realize that they've been deceived, so they turn against uh, the Astral Claws and, you know, fight both sides. But because they turned, you know... Ooh, four battleships, two escorts, retreat. Uh, executioner's fleet. All right, phew. More, more Tyranids. Wait, those two ships are gone? Where did they go? Uh, I, not, I don't care. But anyway, the execution has turned on the Astral Cores at the last minute and know, fought against them, and because of that, and because they, you know, turned on them, they were given basically a free bride. They were, they forced to do a hundred year penitent crusade alongside the Lamenters and the Mantis Warriors, but they had n almost none of their equipment stolen, their homeworlds were placed under the guardianship of their, uh, successor chapters until such a time as they could return. They were basically just given a slap on the back and sent on the penitent crusade, which is Bullshit. I hate the executioners for that, because they fucking wiped out ev loyalist Astartes all over the place. They killed so many, yet they get enough, no repercussions because of it. I consider that r real bollocks right there. But, you know, that's a completely by-the-by sort of thing. While the Lamenters, I mean, what, the Lamenters never attack, only attack military targets... They let lots of loyalist Astartes surrender. In fact, they didn't even fight the Marines errant because of their, you know, honor of um, their friendship between the two chapters. They just sort of tried to scare them off of attacks. They didn't even fight them. Yet the Lamenters got half of their shit stolen by the bastard Minotaurs and then shat on by the Inquisition, then sent on a penitent crusade. I consider that bullshit, and that's why the execution is my least favorite of the, um, those the secessionists who fought in the Maelstrom, uh, in the Badab War. But you know, such as it is. Also, where is my fleet? I just realized I have no idea where my ships are. I know I two of my escorts had to run away from an orc fleet, but I had like a some guys fighting here. Where are my fleet gone? Chapter management. Okay, so where are my ships? Fleet. Home. Home. Proetheus. 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 Protocol head. Wait. Stygia. No, my fleets aren't there. I'm confused as to... Maybe... Th has this game lost my entire chapter's fleet? I really hope not. Mm. Imperial Navy... Helgen! Oh, no, it's Helen. What is it? Helgen for a second. Solitude. Interesting. Nice to see Skyrim references in here. Tanif? New Tanif. Huh, pretty neat. Mmm... Gerbil, Sabate, Eurakton, more Tyranids, Defense Fleet, Defense Fleet, 
Defense Fleet, Defense Fleet, Defense Fleet, Defense Fleet, Imperial Navy. My ships are gone. My ships are completely gone. I cannot find them. Axe Imperial. So they're on a ship. Any of my companies not on ships? This is the latest version. I should have. This shouldn't be doing this to me. Uh, I'm confused, guys, because this isn't. This doesn't make sense. Home, and all of these ships seem to be disappeared. Leviathan Torment Strike Cruiser. Here are cause of our current ships and their contents. Home. Okay, so Stygia. N there isn't a fleet there. There isn't anything here. The entire chapter has gone AWOL. Ooh, Eldar. Nice. Um, <laughs> we're no longer playing Chapter Master. This is just observing the game and seeing what the... Imperium does. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this up and I'm gonna I won't try again because I'll be brutally honest with you audience. I didn't want to play as the executioners. I was <laughs> just like the executioners, I was on a bound by my own morals to make this episode because I wanted to complete you know, having at least one episode as each of the um secession secessionist chapters of the Maelstorm. Of not the Maelstrom, of the Badab War, but I didn't actually want to do many parts as the executioners just because I don't personally like them. So, yeah, I'll give you guys another better uh, chapter master playthrough in next time in about five minutes when I refire up the game. So, until then, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm going to send a quick email reporting this bug and then I will join you back in Chapter Master another time.